everybody, my name is Shai, welcome back to my channel, and today we are going to be making some merch designs. So this video is going to have a little more voiceover going on, and I thought it would be fun to sort of explain my process as the footage rolls in the background, so you guys can let me know what you think. This video is not scripted, so if I go off on random rambly tangents, uh, that is why. <laughs> So without any more delay, let's get into the video. So I actually have three designs, technically four, but we'll start with the first three. So the first one is Amy. So for this Amy sticker, I actually have not made merch before. So I was trying to see if I could rework my style to fit. Um, but my style is already pretty simplified. I like using big, bold black lines and bright colors, so I figured that would work really well for a merch design, so or a sticker in this case. I went in with the mindset of them being stickers, uh, but later you'll see that I actually figured out how to use them for other intents and uh, purposes too. Um, I do, I, now I'm, that I'm looking at it, I'm realizing that this design does look a bit that like uh, Valentine's Day themed, but I guess that's kind of Amy's aesthetic anyway, so I guess it works. <laughs> So I added these two big hearts and then I colored the line art before I actually started shading. This is something that I forget to do for the other two stickers, so uh, oopsie. <laughs> but um, it worked really well here. I was able to get an overall vibe before I started coloring everything. And I kept the colors very bright, very saturated, and very like in your face. <laughs> kind of like that. So um, the Amy sticker, I am... I am very proud of it, and for the first time, uh, this is my first time drawing something like this. It's not like a full illustration, but it is more like chibified. I think that's the word I'm looking for. They're all very chibified, which I found very cute, and I had a lot of fun with that. So this is our girl Amy with her hammer. Uh, so I do like really like this one. I, I also just like the color pink, so, so this was really fun to work on first. Okay, so the second sticker I did was Rouge. So for Rouge's design, I actually did sketch all of these um, out beforehand on like a bigger canvas and then I just copy pasted into their own uh, smaller files. Um, so I believe the dimensions that I use for these files are 1280 by 1280 pixels at 300 dpi, I think. Um, I could be wrong, but they are a square. It is a square canvas. So I really I'm just like drawing all the sketches beforehand and then choosing the ones I like and then turning them into finished pieces. So for this one, I decided that in order to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing as a sticker, I was going to detach her wings. So oopsie. <laughs> Them. They're not actually attached to her back like they should be, but they look cool and I needed something to fill up all the negative space around the canvas, so uh, Yeah, I did I uh, I'm not sure if I regret that decision or not, but I don't hate it. So That's good So the same thing for the shading I apply the base color colors blah, blah, blah. Excuse me. Uh, I lay down the base colors and then I add the highlights on top and for this one I'm actually really glad with how it came out. For some reason I made her cuffs and uh, boots look really shiny, but I kind of like it. I feel like it's more... I just like colors. <laughs> I just like bright flashy colors, so I think it fits well for my style. And then I added these two giant diamonds, gems, uh, some jewel, a blue jewel of some kind um, to act as an accent piece. Not accent piece, accent color to match with her eyeshadow. Um, so yeah, this is the rouge sticker. I'm actually really proud with the coloring on this one overall, and it was a lot of fun. So for the third one, we have Blaze. So for Blaze's, I was kind of, um, I, I am very happy with how it came out in the end, but I kind of zoned out while drawing all of this. So. 
I can't exactly tell you much about what I was thinking while I was doing it. I was kind of just doing. <laughs> but by this point, I did have the process kind of figured out already, so I was able to just put on some music and zone out while I did it. So same order as always, line art, base colors, and then shading and highlights. So Blaze's sticker, I actually, um, I decided to stick with the theme that I had so far with Amy and Rouge's sticker, so I take two icons or like elements that relate to their character and then I make two of them and I put that on either side. So for Amy I had hearts and for Rouge I had jewels and gems and so for Blaze obviously I had to do fire. Um, I realized I saw this as like a way to make them look more like a set and less like just random assortments of uh, or random character illustrations and they look more like stickers and less like random pictures <laughs> so they look more unified that way um so yeah i figured that was a better decision i don't know what i was planning to follow that sentence up with but uh <laughs> anyway um i have been talking for way too long so uh here is the blaze sticker here she is and here is our fiery cat princess Okay, and as a sort of bonus sticker, uh, I have this little chow because I love chow and um, I, I just, I just, the minute I decided that I was going to try and make merch or like stickers in general, I knew I had to do a chow one because they're just, look, look at them, they're so chibi and huggable and cute and I had to do one. <laughs> So um, I just did a basic neutral chow, I know, kind of boring, but I do intend to do uh, other types of chow, a hero one and a dark one, and I think that will be really, really cute to have them all together as like their own little set. I'm planning to do these all as, as sets, but you know, obviously they can stand alone as their own individual designs as well. Um, but this little guy, I think he took me under two hours to do. Um, and I was just loving the entire process the whole time. It was so much fun. <laughs> and here are all the designs all next to each other. I am very, very proud of all of them. And I had a lot of fun making them. So that is a very good sign. I will definitely be doing more of these in the future. Um, but on to the sort of announcement segment of the video. I do have a few of them. So... As for where you can purchase these stickers, they are up on my Redbubble shop. I will have the link down in the description. Uh, this is actually my first time opening an online store or marketplace of any kind. Um, so I am really, really excited to announce that it is open and av available to the public. <laughs> I do have all these stickers up there, of course, as well as a few original pieces of artwork if you would like to check those out. Um, as well as that one shadow piece I did that seemed to, you know, be really popular. So if you guys really like that one, it's also up there for sale. Um, so yeah, my shop is open and feel free to head over there. I will have the link down in the description where you can click and check it out. So that is really exciting. And secondly, I'm actually planning to open a submission form for, um, another Draw I Draw Your OCs video. So... I will put up the post in my community tab once that form is finished, but once it is up, I will have all of the rules and regulations for how you can submit your OC for me to draw in a future video. So keep an eye out for that. I will hopefully have that up very soon. And if you made it this far, thank you so, so, so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. Um, of course, all of the links that I talked about will be down in the description below, as well as my art blog if you would like to see other things that I might not post here exactly. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I'm going to stop talking now. So, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye!